what is going on guys sergeant's tech tips welcome to another video on my channel as you can see we're going to be taking a look at linux Lite today the last linux video i did was i think around nine months ago so almost a year ago i do apologize for the lack of those uploads i just honestly i honestly forgot about them i don't remember the how we did it i usually i think i usually did it through VirtualBox. i would actually do the install process but i decided to switch it up a little bit if you guys want me to do the install process where i install it via whatever virtual machine software i'm using and then set it up that way i can do that but this time i just got it all set up as you can see we are in it uh this is a screen you get i have used this only once to test it to see if i was going to work on a computer but i think i accidentally removed the bottom bar down here and i couldn't figure out how to get it back so i put linux mint on it anyway uh so obviously this screen we got here we got welcome to linux Lite, free to use you can actually donate there will be a link in the description below to download it if you guys would like uh, you can actually click here to install updates you know install updates you just gotta enter your password obviously i'm um, obviously not gonna sit here and install updates because it's gonna take forever but yeah like i said there's a lot of updates so this is a free to use operating system uh, it's more it's a lot more lightweight than some other operating systems i'm not sure how lightweight it is i actually haven't had a chance to test it on some actual hardware if i do i will definitely record it for you guys and get it edited and uploaded for you guys so right off the bat we got the desktop we got this pc user files and network control panel trash and user manual or help manual i guess now the file explorer looks pretty basic like very basic things we've seen before uh, we got all basic stuff we got browse network we got the user account we got the desktop the trash and the drives you can see your different drives uh, i'm not really sure where you find like okay you got documents uh downloads music pictures all that fun stuff so that's the file explorer it looks pretty basic let's see what they're using they're using thunar 41610 at the time of the recording of this video uh, we obviously got this pc which will just bring you to the computer section and the file explorer we also got network which just brings you all to the things on your network uh it looks like you got the control panel which i actually when i was messing with this to change the resolution it i kind of like it this is a very well thought out control panel if we go to about me we can check this out you can change your first name last name your email address and all, all that stuff this is pretty common in linux operating systems i've noticed which i do like it's a very it's a very helpful tool that way you can just you know i love how they call it a mugshot that's it does come with chrome pre-installed which isn't a bad thing chrome's a great operating or a browser i usually like to see mozilla because it's a lot more lightweight than chrome but i guess maybe if it's lightweight enough you can still use chrome like i said i haven't really tried uh so for appearance we got I, a dueta i want to say uh we got the dark version we got Br gray bird gray bird dark we got high contrast materia materia compact the dark version of materia materia dark compact light and just light compact i usually let's do gray bird i really I, I like gray bird and then we also got a, di a bunch of different icon packs like we got ubuntu mono uh we got sorry ubuntu mono dark uh papyrus light papyrus dark just regular papyrus and a bunch of other papyruses uh, login icons humanity high contrast gnome the gnome is pretty good we got e papyrus dark i feel like i'm messing up that word but that's okay we got just ePrapis. Let's do the light or the, we'll do dark. Then we can go to fonts. You can change your fonts. You got your settings here. That We got desktop, which allows you to change your wallpaper. Oh, look at that wallpaper. That is pretty. That was a nice wallpaper. Got this one too. The amount of wallpapers are pretty good. I do like the wallpapers and my favorite color is red. It's nice to see some red wallpapers for once. I also noticed there was different desktops down here and it actually shows the window. So like if you have two windows open, it'll show how many windows you have open. So if you have two different desktops, you can be like, oh, this is the desktop I want. I don't know if you can add more desktops, but you might be able to. Sorry, workspaces is what they call it. But that is all the wallpapers. We got menus, some menu options, and then some icon options you can do. You could add those if we wanted to. Uh, so we got file manager settings, pretty much basic stuff i'm not going to sit here and go through each item just because a lot of you linux users or people who even never use linux it's it's similar you don't really got to sit here and mess with it if you really want to test it out you can go to link in the description below download it install it and mess with it yourself you got notification section if you want to mess with that you got panels you got appearance obviously dark mode and then you got a bunch of different items these are all the things you have I'm going to assume you got like separators and stuff. By the way, I do like the taskbar. I guess they call it a panel in the next, but I do like the taskbar. It is a very clean taskbar, especially the start menu. That is a very clean start menu. We also got screen savers, which is different. We got uh, the one thing I love about Linux is they usually ship with a lot of screen savers. I'm really sure why I can't use them though. Oh, I got to turn them on. Fiber lamp. That is cool. Floating XFCE fuzzy flakes, galaxy, hexadrop, M6502, uh, metaballs penrose pop art squares ripples those are cool you got scooter shade bobs slide yeah because it's going to do your wall whatever screen is on when it's, the screensaver kicks in it'll just do that you got swirl tesla image and x lyap l y a p now in terms of text editor settings it's all basic stuff you can edit them if you would like 
I'm pretty sure it just edits the, like when you're using text editor, you can change the text and font and stuff it uses. You got window manager. You can actually change like the, the window it looks like. I'm not really sure what that does. You got keyboard focus and advance. You got a uh, window manager tweaks. So you got some tweaks for the window manager, which is cool. Workspaces, which is down here. And you can actually add another one. If I just add, you can have up to three. Actually, you can have a hundred. Oh my God. Oh God, let's just have two. You can have a hundred workspace. I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, you probably could. It's it's a very lightweight version of Linux. If you don't have more than two cores, though, you're going to struggle quite a bit. Oh, you got color profiles. If your monitor supports it, you can probably change the color profile. I think these are just, yeah, these are just your display settings. I, I think this is virtual one as the screen because it's a virtual machine, which makes sense. Uh, you can also change the scale and stuff, change the resolution, the rotation, and the reflection. We also got HIDPI settings. The current setting is 60, 96 DPI. This has got keyboard, you can edit your keyboard settings. You got mouse and touchpad, you can make it so you're left or right-handed, reverse the scroll, the scroll direction. You got some integrations here, so you can actually change your mouse or change the settings for each mouse if you have multiple mice plugged in. You can actually change your mouse cursor as well, which is pretty cool. You got power manager, so you can uh, set the uh, power buttons, like what the power button does, or just any of the other buttons. Like if you do sleep, you could make it do hibernate if you wanted to. It's a sleep button, you'd probably just do sleep, but people are weird. You got display, so you can make it uh, turn off after whenever, or you can just make it do never, which is usually what I do. Uh, you got storage, removable drives and media. This is all the settings for that. You also got accessibility, default applications. So you can change your default application. So if you had Chrome or like I said, Firefox, you could just do that. I don't think it's actually installed, but you could change the default. You got accessibility keyboard, mouse, and assistive technologies. That reminds me of like iPhones when you can just add that little thing you click so you can like lock the screen and stuff, click of a button. I am not sure though. You also have light DMG TK greeter setting. Not sure what that is. I don't know what that does, but you also got light auto login. You can turn that off or on. You got desktop. You can enable or disable any of this stuff for your desktop. You got light info. Oh, that's not very nice. Uh, light network shares. So you could do some network shares if you obviously weren't in a virtual machine. Uh, you got light software, so you could check out the software. I assume this is... Oh, look at that. So it's basically just a software manager. You got Audacity, a Dropbox, FileZilla, Firefox. Let's do Firefox. And it looks like it's pretty snappy too. And this is better than using a terminal, especially if you're not really familiar with the terminal. A while Firefox installs, we're going to go ahead and check out some of the other software. Obviously, you got the info the software. This is just a software manager. We're just looking at that. You got sounds. You can actually enable, disable. You can enable all. You That's that's actually really cool. You can disable or enable like login sounds, system sound. You can get a software report, which will basically just give you all the specs about the machine. Well, this is the report for the information we got. Now, I'm in a virtual machine, so it's not going to give me actual name. Oh, look at that. Firefox is installed. That's pretty cool. That is a very nice touch. Being able to just install it, clicking a couple buttons. Uh, we got light tweaks, which just allows you to tweak the operating system, which is cool. You got ZRAM, use memory more efficiently on older systems. So this would be good, especially if you're running a really low end system. You got light upgrades, so you can upgrade uh, to the latest version if there's an update. You got light user manager, you can actually manage your users. You got light welcome, so this is a welcome screen. This is a welcome screen that I was showing you guys in the beginning of the video where you can install updates, drivers, or store point. You got light widget. Looks like there's widgets. Oh, look at that. Got 10% CPU usage. I uh, got about 3.8 gigabytes is how much there is total, about four gigs. We're only using 800 megabytes. That is nuts. The widget is cool. It does tell you how much RAM is being used. And for idle, 700 megabytes is awesome. You got session and startup. Display chooser on login. You can choose your display. You got application auto start, so you can turn off. These are basically startup settings like you have in Windows. Uh, current session, these are all the programs that are open. You got advanced. Then down here, we got Bluetooth adapters. So you can turn on your Bluetooth. I don't know what it's doing. It's taking forever. But you got firewall config. So you can configure your firewall if you're into that sort of thing. Usually, it's pretty already basically done on its own. But we got settings editor. So you can edit all your settings. All right. So that is the settings. System never updated. That's kind of cool. You also got the date and then the version of Linux. We are running 6.6. .6. Now, let's check out the applications. I'm not going to go through the applications like I usually do just because I'm on a limited time here. But you got recently used here. And they used to get favorites. You can favorite them. You just right click and do about, uh, sorry, add to favorites. Oh, we got all applications. Let's just do my computer. You got all that fun stuff. Uh, settings, these are all the settings. You got accessories, application finder, archive manager, backups, calculator, file search, font, screenshot, text editor, USB image writer, USB stick formatter, onboard screen keyboard, onboard uh, graphics. We got a document scanner, an image editor, which is GIMP. Uh, you got paint. 
What does this look like? There's some crazy edits on Microsoft Paint. I'll put one on screen now if I can find one. Uh, we got Photo Manager, so you can manage your photos, any photos you have. You got a Mail Client Network Connection, so you can see all the connections. You got Support, so you can click that. It'll bring you to the support site. Also got Web Browser. Uh, you got Multimedia, which is CD, DVD Burner, Media Player, VLC, Volume control, so you can control your volume. Pretty basic, but it's very nice to see this because it's nice to being. It's nice to have a way to control your volume. Oh, you got Office, you got PDF Office, which I believe is LibreOffice is installed, but that's good because LibreOffice is a great free Office tool. You also got a PDF viewer, which is different. I don't have any PDFs to view, but it does come with a PDF viewer pre-installed. Uh, you got package installer, partition drives, printers, system information, so you can get some sensitive information without doing that whole thing I was showing you earlier. Uh, you got system log, system monitor, system restore utility, terminal emulator, and firewall. This is different because I remember in the other Linux videos, we were always looking at different operating systems and a lot of the like task managers were basically the same. This is a lot different. Down here, you get the terminal, file manager, Google Chrome, and then you have obviously your start menu. So you got your ethernet, your network over here. You got update installer and then your sound. So you can change your sound over here along with your calendar. But yeah, guys, that is Linux Lite 6.6. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you guys did not enjoy the video, please drop a dislike. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. If you guys want to see more Linux videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video and peace out.